Today I'll be sharing a compilation of restaurants that we enjoyed during our trip to South Korea. We're going to be checking out a restaurant in Incheon Airport called Han Shig Midam Gear. This place is known for its selection of traditional Asian cuisine, and it's a great place to stop for a bite to eat before or after your flight. My girlfriend's brother met us at the airport to guide us to our hotel. I treated him to a meal of his choosing. My girlfriend's brother ordered the soba noodles. The noodles were cold and refreshing, and they were served with a side of broth for dipping. My girlfriend ordered the kimchi stew. The stew was piping hot and had a nice kick to it. It was served with a side of rice, and it was the perfect way to warm up on a cold day. Pork bulgogi was calling to me, so I chose to eat that. The pork was well cooked, with a savory and slightly sweet flavor. It was served with a side of rice and banchan, which are small side dishes that are typically served with Korean meals. A pleasant first meal in Korea that the three of us were able to share together. And awesomely enough, the entire meal for three is only 22 US dollars, really affordable. The next spot is Genie a breakfast place specializing in sandwiches and salads. It was located very close to our hotel accommodations. The place had that independently owned and operated type of vibe, so we knew the quality would be good. I ordered a chicken sandwich that was elegantly crafted. My girl got a blueberry bagel with cream cheese. For drinks, we shared a cold glass of strawberry milk. That strawberry milk was so fire, incredibly delicious. Milk and sugar, what a great way to start the day. It was a new morning, so for breakfast we checked out Sadagimbab. Kyung Hee got some kimchi stew. I was craving some omurice and tonkatsu. Honestly, probably the best omurice and tonkatsu I ever had. I definitely want to come back here again for breakfast. Before our trip to the city of Hampyong, within the eight-floor train station mall complex, we ate at a place called Crispy Fresh. The place seems to specialize in Western-style taco bowls and health drinks. We ordered their beefsteak taco bowl with a side of their pork and spinach garlic pasta. For drinks, we got their garden boost and cleansing red juices. I was very impressed by the steak taco bowl. The ingredients complemented each other perfectly. The brown rice provided a nice balance of carbohydrates and fiber, while the steak, pinto beans, and chickpeas added a good amount of protein. The guacamole and tomatoes provided essential vitamins and minerals, while the lettuce and tortilla added a crunchy texture. The sour cream and cheese added a creamy flavor profile to round out the dish. It was topped off with some charred sweet corn for a touch of sweetness. This dish was so simple yet inspiring. I would love to emulate this dish at home. The garden boost and cleansing red juices were so worth it. I want to try to make these at home too. When a restaurant inspires you to want to recreate their meals at home, you know it has to be top quality. We finally found a nice hole-in-the-wall Vietnamese restaurant called Ban Cha Hanoi Oi in the city of Guangzhou. The place was designed to simulate the look and feel of eating at a restaurant in Vietnam. Kyung Hee was craving pho, so we came here with her dad, who would be trying pho for the first time. Two huge bowls of pho arrived with the customary herbs and peppers present. I opted for an order of their pork banh mi, and man, it was so good. The pickled daikon and carrots complemented the meat very well. The pork was perfectly tender, and it had a unique Korean-style BBQ flavor that charmed me. It was one of the best banh mi's I've ever eaten, and definitely way better than what you can find in Paris. The pho was perfection too. The broth was light and fluid, with a savory flavor that had that familiar, satisfying taste. I'm glad Kyunghee's dad enjoyed it too. This concludes our eating adventures in Korea. See you next time.